Okay, so we're back. We did uh, a full string of RBR related quests. I think we're going to continue to do a few more. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do some War of Limits because XP is okay. 167,000 with XP week and RBR does mean that we get a decent amount of XP per second. So it's worth it from a leveling perspective. I think what I want to try, I'm going to switch characters actually for a character that needs levels and see how I feel about the run comparatively. So I did have fun with uh, Crimson. I'm glad we got to play with her a bit more. Definitely a big upgrade once she got, um, what's it called? Uh, Red Ring. Yeah, I think it's time to start leveling the other characters that are close. So Hugh Cast getting levels is huge. Hugh New Roll, I think we'll get eventually. I'm not worried, we'll, we'll get more chances with her. But anything that can squeeze the Hugh Cast ATP just a little higher makes a lot of my solo TTF runs way easier. So like, I'll do that whenever chat. Like, okay. And he's still relevant. He can confuse trap everything. So not Kyrick, ready to be joining Dango's game. So yeah, bring in whoever you think needs experience. I'm gonna go swap in my items. So it'll help not Kyrick slash Robo Battery level a little bit more. I believe that was the character we did help power level before. So I need to make sure that I have some other items. I need to make sure I have a melee weapon of some sort, so Charge Gunnier, probably perfect. Uh, we probably want Charge Vulcan. Do I want anything else? good my red handgun just because actually you know what I, th I think I'd rather my charge ray gun with native Ren ring will be so nice eventually yeah it fixes a lot of Hugh cast problems his problem is accuracy <laughs> just <laughs> spoilers nothing else everything else about him is, is really solid and then he just becomes overwhelmingly powerful uh, I guess I needed a heavenly power or something. Oh, I think I had a heavenly ability or something in here. One second, child. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, we're getting Dango lore across two different videos. That person familiar is one of the first friends of any other team leader of the team I was in this before this one. Uh, I did recognize their icon. So I, I guess they started playing again. It's kind of neat. So we're bringing in a Vulcan, a Ray Gun, and a Gun Year. I think that covers our bases pretty well. And Jake Meme, you cast Fomar, low AT ATA fixed by RR. Yeah, pretty much. Sorry about that team, I was just re equipping. Ooh, double Hugh cast. <laughs> we're the bodyguards. Hey, we're almost color matched with the people, too. <laughs> Not Kirik protecting uh... Murphy. I'm protecting uh, Dango. It matches. <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> Every force has their assigned Hugh cast. So yeah, we're just gonna be basically Vulcaning everything out of existence. So just look for the Astarks, kill the Astarks. If you see satellite lizards, if you got melee, great. If you don't, it's fine. Delete button activate. Oh, they're apparently still using it. Nice, nice. <laughs> Don't mind me, just using Charge Vulcan disrespectfully on Satellite Lizard. Alright, where's the other guy? There he is. Goodbye. See, now we can combo kill with Charge Vulcans 100%, because I'm playing Hugh Cast. He doesn't care about the rules of how much damage I'm supposed to do. His damage is yes. I got Twin Blaze for my melee weapon. Because I feel like that's the most disrespectful thing I could kill them with. Like, I could bring in Gear Soul, but I'm so strong that I'll still kill them with this other weapon choice. <laughs> Goodbye, Zoo. So yeah, we're, I'm basically going to be pointed at something and I'm going to delete it. That's all you need to know. So we're going to bait him with the Freeze Trap here. Got him. Oh, cute cast, you're so silly. <laughs> so as much as I like the Hugh Cassiel, the Hugh cast, uh, hmm, he's the character. 
Oops, I shot a freeze trap instead of my target. So you can see when we hit the charge portion of Charge Vulcan, it just absolutely annihilates the enemy. Nice level up. The sad part is if you end up getting Mag Blast here, the quest is pretty long. So in theory, we could Mag Blast for even more Hugh Cast power. Words that'll make most people shudder and possibly vomit. <laughs> You're like, no. He has to have some limits. And you just go, never. Destroy the trap for them. And then just look at the damage. As long as I can land it. How did I miss that 96% special? Game, please. What's up with that? I'm getting robbed. I actually have good accuracy on this character. Whatever, game. Goodbye. Bonk. Yeah, so I'm going to be throwing out freeze traps because I know there's just tons of opportunities to get them. Is there anything I could do to shut down some enemies from hitting chat? I think it's good. Again, and most of the time, I'm just going to be doing the what I call the power scale. I do normal power special, and that will kill pretty much everything that is not dwarf on. Where I, if I want to save money and it's just a basic enemy, I can normal power power. Yeah, once you're at like 1400 ATP, you don't play by any of the rules. You no longer care what is fair or not fair. Well, they went through the trap side. Rip them. So yeah, we're just basically just going to slow things down, give chat a chance to stack what they want. Why are there like nursery songs playing? Bummer man, you are a strange individual. Oh, the, the crits! The crits! Where'd the Dorfon go, chat? Where did it go? Dorfon getting deleted. <laughs> I think the other side has boxes, maybe? Oh, look, material. I, got, I have to go back for that. I have to. That's one of those ones that is worth the time loss. Just go pick it up. So anyway. Time for the Hugh Cast to deliver. I'm still confused by this song. I'm questioning all my life choices listening to this. Oh, bomber man. So we're gonna freeze trap this to buy the team some time. Delete the Astar. Nice, team will clean up. Build the Zabudas, team will clean up. Put another freeze trap down. Combo kill the Astar. Oh, got hit out of the combo. Can't combo kill if I only get two hits. Though imagine a world where you could. I might as well just hit the laser gate. I don't remember if this is needed, but it's fun. I'm gonna hit it anyway out of instinct. Let's go back upwards. The team's following me for some reason. This is the laser gate. I think we can go this way. Uh, let me deal with the trap on this side, otherwise the team will run into it. There we go. Puts us in a good alignment with the zoo, actually, compared to the other side. It throws basically everything. What I want to see. They're dealing with all the things that are sometimes annoying for us. And again, I'm going to be chucking out freeze traps like there's no tomorrow, because I know I'm going to get restocked at some point. Uh, I guess we could pop the boxes here. Yep, chat did that. Nothing of interest there. So 
I believe we're getting close to our first set of freeze trap restores, I think. Is it like in an area like this? Uh card ray gun's not as strong as I wanted it to be. Unfortunate. Oh well, free strap time. Bonk. <laughs> nice photon draw. And again, I'm just gonna be chucking out free traps constantly. That's my job as the Hugh cast. I see a problem wave, I just I throw it out there. Does it have Astar? Free strap. <laughs> That's my rule of thumb at the moment. Is it it doesn't work on Dwarfon, so like what am I, what else am I gonna use it on? Popped a couple of additional boxes there. So yeah, XP per second went up with uh, the the cast switch plus full party. But now it's becoming like a decent quest. Maybe not for XP weak quest decent, but you know, good enough for just casual leveling. Anything over 120 is good, honestly. Ideally, you have like 200 plus if you're playing like a pure XP quest, but this is still pretty solid, especially if you're looking for limiters. It would be funny though, nice level up. It would be funny if uh, the Robo Battery got a limiter before us. That's happened before. If you see that limiter, you, you like die bomb on it. <laughs> There we go, there's the healing circle. Nice, Jaya. I still haven't seen one drop, actually. So I'm gonna come over here, because I need my traps to be restored. Magua acquired. That is a rake. Death via joke weapon. Save half a tri-fluid. Something like that. Yeah, rake or hoe. Better than a broom, I guess, yeah. Breaking them kills, yeah, something like that. Well, how's my synchro doing? 120? Nice. Don't have to worry about synchro this run. Let chat catch up to me for a second. While I reset the music. I have been at the bonked. Well, that reminds me, Remote Battery. Did you want to join the uh, guild? I think I didn't see you with an icon in the lobby. Get some bonks in. Where is the door fun? Okay, there it is. Goodbye. That's like an invite now. Can't invite here. Can buy these things. Maybe when I'm not in a quest. <laughs> I'll get you next time. Yeah, so they're doing the box check over there. Uh, I don't think I need to check any boxes. I didn't see anything drop from me. So anyway, we're gonna ignore the box check, which is where Dango was. As long as someone checks it, I'm happy. So that's materials, photon crystals, etc. And again, I'm sitting at 80 meter, even though I'm using charge a lot. Can't believe this combo kills. What a character. Ooh, especially with Zalor. Disgusting. Yeah, with Zalora, I didn't even have to use charge. I could just literally kill with normal heavy heavy on everything that is not dwarf on. Nasty. <laughs> so I'm at 96 meter. So in theory, a mag blast here would be disgusting if someone else got it. Probably remote battery at some point. Although if he doesn't have high ATP with gear, then he's not going to build it as fast. But yeah, Hugh cast is broken. <laughs> Spoilers. 62 is not bad. Ooh, 
Ooh. The leap button. Just remember they block shots from the front, the satellite lizards. Oh, a Gearasol drop. Oh, they dropped Gearasol? Really? I did what? I didn't think they did that on blue. Huh. I mean, I would like an actually good Gearasol. There are characters that use it. I didn't think about it that way. I'm so used to only having it on Sky ID. I totally forgot. Thank you for following uh Nuxi? Place that they're correct. Very interesting. Well, this run got better. <laughs> oh, I saw that reduced to one. Nice. Using the glide divine tactics. Saw that. Let's focus on the zoo here. Goodbye. Satellite lizard trolled me. Get rid of you. Where's the door phone? There's the door phone. Charge this. <laughs> so yeah, with the low number of Dwarfons here, a very high level cast does not care about them. I guess I might as well restock my freeze traps. I'll let team pop the boxes in here. So I'm not going to be very efficient at it. I mean, I, I could, in theory, twin blaze. Like if I was playing solo for whatever reason. Yep, all my freeze traps back. So yeah, doing this quest a few times. We'll go at least until I level, then we'll talk about what quest to do again, I guess. Because I want to make it fair. Because this character needs levels, as does my Hunu roll. So I'm willing to play any Sky ID, any Blue, or anything hosted by the team where I could play a set characters. Oops, I accidentally triggered the spawn. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Actually, no be do. I'm gonna do this while I wait. And wait for Dango. There we go. Now I can do whatever I want. I got greedy. I got too close to the post. It's poor, poor targets. Nice. Gearsol's pretty strong. So if you don't have a good melee weapon to deal with uh, the satellite lizards, that is a really nice pickup for a Hue Cast. It's also really good for when you get Dark Flow, since it drains your HP with special usage, since you want to be low HP with the special. Otherwise, probably don't use it special. But yeah, it does a lot of multi-hit hits, and it's very, very strong. So if you did not have a melee weapon, congratulations. I also now have a Gear Assault to do this. You're like, bonk! So both of us picked up a Gear Assault, which is kind of funny. It is the... one of the best weapons, I think, for Faux Newman and Fomar. So it's not bad. If you get a Gear Assault with high hit percentage, it's actually a ton of fun. <laughs> that was like a party wipe right there. Everybody dive-bombed into the trap before I could shoot it. You got hard baited by the AI. <laughs> In my defense, I had my Vulcans out to shoot it, but team was uh, a little too fast for me. Yeah, that was like the party wipe, GG. AI played the game better. <laughs> yeah, that Gear Soul is so much fun. But sadly, it's going to be a mech gun life for the most part. So we know if we go to the top portion, there's chests. So we'll let uh, Murphy hit that. I'm going to, I guess... It's a ridiculous upgrade. You shouldn't be using Yamato in general. My popper guide also says not to really bother with it, unless it's a component for something. It's like, Yamato does like, what, 250 or so? Aerosol minimum is 500. 
Yeah, that's like a... I might have put it under like literally fresh start, but as soon as you're an ultimate, I, I don't even list it anymore. It's not on the list. I do put Musashi on the list only because if it rolls with high hit percentage, it's technically really good, but the odds of you getting it are pretty low. Just having happy little runs. Yeah, Yamato's special is useless, unfortunately. But Girasol's damage is ridiculous. Just make sure to step on the switch. Or you're gonna be very sad. <laughs> but yeah, the Girasol genuinely is really good. You use it for endgame purposes. It's good for backup melee versus uh, lizards. So if you want to go kill the lizards with it, by all means, I'm gonna focus on the Buddha. Especially if you're low on ATP, it's probably better to just gear a soul. Like, I'll just show you the damage you can deal. Like, it just it one combos everything for me at the moment, without any other specials. So yeah, I'm probably gonna identify it. If it comes with, uh, native, it's somewhat useful here, because, like, everything is native. And A-Beast is not bad if you plan on using it on, uh, Astar. So it's like potentially really ridiculous on episode 4 surface, since almost everything is the same type. And then if you go underground, you'd prefer a mix of native plus dark. I think this one came with native, so its overall damage is super high. Oh man, the Gabarda disrespect. I saw that. It's almost on the final wave. I'll start gone. That time I stopped the charge. And we believe in the grants. <laughs> That's the force's job when the zoo goes out of bounds. You're all good. Yeah, 140 XP a second. That's like what I call, you know, the goal in multiplayer. So it's like, it's just doable. Nice Jaya. Hopefully it came with the percentage. Now that is a boss killer. And also a money killer. <laughs> Rip your wallet whenever you use it. Wallet in peace. So yeah, we'll do at least two more of these, give ourselves some good limiter chances. That way we could say, we did the RBR. Giant only PSOs only pay to win. Except for all the charge weapons. Get rid of these. So I could identify this. This is 20% native. That would actually help with the curious here. And I, I'm literally using zeroed Gearasol, so no matter who this goes to, because I got a lot of the Gearasols from the To the Deepest Blue venue 4A, for example, where you get it all zeroed. But yeah, potentially getting better ones here is nice. But yeah, take a look at that thing's ATP difference compared to Yamato, because it hits the same number of times, I think, but the damage from them should be like night and day. It's been a long time since I used Yamato. Let's actually look up Yamato stats. I mostly know it as the component piece. I think I listed as component. I'll actually double check. What did I list it under specifically in Popper? If I even talked about it at all. Yeah, I put it under Claire Deal 5 component. That much I remember. Yeah, that's the only place I listed it. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah, it normally does 380 to 390. And it has a grind of 60, which is pretty good. Uh, but comparatively, the Girasol has 10 more ATA base, and it has 100 more base. Sadly, it can't be upgraded further. It also technically adds MST, but that's not as relevant. Yeah. With the grinders, Yamato is not bad, but I just don't usually bother. Oh, did I get any grinders, speaking of which? I did. Uh, let's let's grind up my uh, charge Vulcan because I technically wasn't using it at max damage. 
you know, things you could get away with you cast. Like, oh, a non plus weapon. Yeah, that's fine. You can still use it. <laughs> and we'll wait for Dango. Oh. So it looks like Remote Battery is in a team, so I can't invite him. Just a team without a banner. Pew pew indeed. It's just me. Well. Well, if you ever want to make your own guild, eventually you can get those team bonuses. Then you want to junk all the rares you can find. Level this run. Yeah, next run for me will be the level. Made one to unlock dressing room. Makes sense. Eventually, you'll probably do it to unlock a uh, point of disaster since people will run that uh, solo a lot. It's perfect for Conjure You run slash Chambered in. There's also another quest that I, I don't think I've ever done before, I'll be real with you. The robot's reckoning or whatever. Yeah, it takes a while to build up the team points. Some th some items are worth like 10 plus. So funny enough, we'll end up doing a lot of like uh, Terrell's ego quests with angry fists. Because those are worth like a lot of points for no reason. And forest is really easy to farm. So we just end up with like a bunch of team points. I think you have to go to the main counter to disband your team if you want it. To get rid of it. We have a uh, team flag, dressing room. I have up to five team leaders, although I don't know if I've done that with everybody. Hmm. I have to check who my officers are. I actually don't remember. Nogglebog and Chris. I could probably promote Dango and Murphy, the leaders. Give them more power. And they'll go power mad. Yeah, we'll just run the quest. Get used. To I just love the single Buddha. <laughs> oh, brought in the raw marl. Nice, nice. You wanted to pew pew. That's fair. So now the Gyrosol should be doing hilarious damage to these. Oh yeah, it's doing a lot of damage. Yeah, if, if that was native Abyss, this would have been like the perfect combo for surface. But it's, it's native machine, which is not great. I can't think of a lot of places where I would benefit from that and also use Gyrosol. Oh well, also take the 20% native. Since those stats definitely matter for characters like Fomar. Unfortunately, I don't need to land specials, so the accuracy need isn't too crazy. by San Rappi. Are you really turning to fight me? That's why you're getting freeze-trapped. <laughs> Tell him to knock it off. Pew pew pew. Zeus off screen. Oh wait, no, I can still kill him from there. Nice. That saves a lot of time. Murphy had enough though. <laughs> Heaven Striker time. So when you're wit witnessing remote battery is uh, Heaven Striker, which is a gun you get in episode four plus striker unit. So that allows on even beat, even beat dictated by if you pause, it says at eight, six, seven currently. Eight would be the digit it cares about and the hundred digit. Then it lets you spam magical lasers. I would love to know how people found that out originally. Like, they just got really confused one day. Got 
got bumped by the Astark, I think. It's not that. Did you double crit me? How do people find out anything in this game? That's a good question. <laughs> it's like, what is Crimson Coat buff? Uh. <laughs> what does Swordsman War work with? Uh, some items, I guess. Imagine the first. Imagine people like first playing the game with. Oh, I don't have a gun. Where'd my gun go? Oh, there it is. Imagine people first playing the game. So it has its own mag like Excal. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is sort of like that. The Toulousey is getting the bonus, but Heaven Striker specifically gets PP Laser. But I was just thinking, imagine playing the game and you pick up something like Limiter and you're like, why would anybody use this? It's so bad. And you just throw it away. Can you imagine? There's somebody out there that has probably done that. Just think about that, chat. They never bothered to check what it was. They just got rid of it because it gave them stat downs. Feel a little demoning in there. That, that looked a little quick for ATP. Team's on a killing spree. Well, speaking of which, I can grind up my Vulcans. Because they're still not at max power. I usually use the dark one, but for surface, it's good. Did we come this way before? Maybe. <laughs> oh, Tango beat me a little bit. I'm slow to the draw. I was like, where is the Astark? Never mind. Oh, I got too close to the zoo. Unfortunate. Uh, that is some ridiculous crowd con control. There we go. Remote battery gradually gaining levels at a nice happy pace of still probably way too high for his level. But that's fine. <laughs> we don't care about fairness here. Okay. Okay, team's gonna go hit the laser switch, so I'm just gonna wait near the gate. I'm not, I'm not taking the long walk. If somebody else is taking the long walk, I'll do it. <laughs> just move to the next area. And just every level just helps the Hue cast become a little more broken. Oh, that's what it was. It doesn't spawn unless you get close enough, even though you could see the gate from there. That's really dumb. That's why I didn't see it the first time I went through there. I feel, I feel better now. It's PSO jank. Stop me from seeing it. Max, max draw distance achieved. It's actually pretty rude that you have to walk over there to see it too. You just waste time no matter what. A draw distance of my 25 year old game? Yeah, exactly. How dare they? Oops. Get out of here, Babudas. Take that try me. No, I don't have a gun to really shoot them. Rip. Couldn't hit the Rappies. Vulcan is not gonna reach that fast enough, sadly. If I'd quick swapped into Ray Gun, maybe I could have saved it. I got crit. The only thing that knocks me down. So sad. Good pal. Get rid of you. I have regular disc in here? Why? I did not mean to pick that up, because that's going to mess up my menuing. Might as well swap some boxes. At some point, one of us will get a Photon Crystal, allegedly. Oh, 
Oh wow, I can just heavy, heavy, heavy them when I'm buffed. And there's the Lord. That's gross. The double button combo kill. Just Hue cast things. So I know I'm gonna get a trap refresh, so I might as well spam. Another Jaya, nice. Yeah, not bad hunts across the board. Girasol, Limiter, Jaya. Any other fun things I'm forgetting about Blue ID offhand? Some of the IDs are kind of a blur. One day, when I type in ultimate, it will go to the right link. Sorry about that, Sand Seal. You can go on ahead. I'm just going to look it up real quick. Yeah, so there, there's Giant from the Buddhas. Heavenly HP from Dwarfon. That's what it is. Technically, Dwarfon Eclair is Asteron Belt, but we're not likely to see it. Oh, Smart Link is actually a good one. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, oh, there's definitely Ignition Cloak. Yeah, that's the, that's no question. <laughs> that's that's from Del Rappi, though. I don't think you'll run that for Rappi. Blue ID, Blue ID is so broken. What doesn't Blue ID Very Hard Mode have? It's It literally has, like, seven good drops. I even wrote it in the Popper Guide. This is when we talk about doing Blue ID Very Hard. That's a run you do even when you're, like, level 100 or 150. That run is so stupid. It's, like, one of the best in the game. I think it might be the best very hard mode run in the game too. It's kind of insane. Oh, team whiffed a couple shots there. I saw that. Close. Pop some boxes. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, Chatlin the Rafiks get away. Somebody has to be on Rappy duty. Those are materials we could be getting. So sad. Take these though. So sick. I guess I could gear us all the Rappi. Nice level up. Yeah, it's got. I think it has a little less reach than Yamato, but it's definitely just way stronger. The damage range is so good. If you get that thing with percents, it's like, oh. Like a, like a 30 40 native here for a new player. Like, what a. What a difference it makes with clear speed. Yeah, the dream would be like a 20 hit, like 60 native, 60 AVs <laughs> on the U cast. Just needs like a little touch of accuracy and the rest is just all damage. I don't think that would be the most unre unrealistic thing to roll up to, like a 50 native upwards to 60, I mean. Juke the Dorfon. Goodbye, Dorfon. Give us some time. Yeah, it's kind of rough playing the Hue cast initially before you get the max accuracy. So I'm setting at 191, so that's why I'm able to do like normal heavies, but. Yeah, they got some pretty abysmal ATA. But things like Freeze Trap make up for it, so they can finally combo kill. They get to briefly pretend they're a ranger with their accuracy. Let's look what I can do. Receivable lady ranger. I mean, that's sadly almost not an exaggeration. Their double heavenly arms ranger wall. Ugh. It's like it's just so hard to compete with that. 
like holy imagine something 75 from like the, just that and then a, another 25 from mag 100 accuracy on your character you're not missing anything right it's behind us Rid of you yeah we're getting steady xp and again it's an excuse to level with forces normally you would not be able to power level a lot of forces unless you're playing episode four it's having like three forces in ttf is a little brutal unless they are like super well equipped but in this quest nah, that's fine oh the pew pew laser So yeah, Smart Link potentially for remote battery would be huge, especially since there's so many times he's using Mech Gun. So basically, the way you have to think about PSO is that the further you are away from the target, the lower your accuracy is, unless you're a Ranger. Rangers don't care about that. So you can emulate the fact that Rangers cheat and just take that into a unit. So essentially, if you have something that grants like 6 accuracy, like a Marksman Arm or something, uh, that is probably going to be going to be completely outclassed for guns by Smart Link, because you're losing potentially up to 20% accuracy if you're shooting at max distance. Or if you're with like a sniper, it's like ridiculously far, like 60 or something absurd. Hit a nerf on last one, that's true. So once you get that, it's not too bad. So being able to turn that off by getting a Smart Link is huge. It's going to help a lot with your clears. So if you're wondering, especially if you have an accuracy reader, why it feels like you're missing more than you are, it's because you are. Or it should be, I mean. It's because you are. Like even just hitting that zoo, like from this distance, would probably be like a minus 18 or so, minimum. I almost shot the trap in time. Actually, you know what? If we're playing even beat, we might as well just play it all the way to the end of even beat. Because what else are we gonna do? Blue ID, War of Limit. Pretty much only RBR, to be honest with you. Like, this is not a quest I will normally do, because I, I got burned out on this real fast. This is what I was trying to use my Hugh Neural for, and I was just like, man, I just don't enjoy this quest solo. So it's like, even though she would technically be decent at it, I'm just like, man. It's just so much more fun to do with literally anybody else in multiplayer. So sad. I mean, if I have to host it, then it's whatever. I got some options. But yeah, this is also kind of a rough run for forces solo, because there's so much mixed damage that the run can take a very long time. It's like a lot of need of fire, a lot of need of ice. Sometimes lightning waves. fun in here. Okay. Nothing of interest. Let's go back. So yeah, with like almost all the box checks in the run done when we do it, at some point in theory, one of us will get a Photon Crystal between that and the Yaoi slash Satellite Lizard. Now we step on this button and pray. I'll wait for the team. Please activate the switch, everybody. Something like that. There we go. Let's spawn the next wave. And remote battery should be arriving around that time. Which is fine. This wave is just set up anyway. QQ laser says no. I 
And then if chat wants, I could probably hard carry with this Hughcast and TTO. <clears throat> so I don't mind doing some of those. Yeah, I figured we at least get a good mix of RBR for people that are specifically looking for me to do something other than TTFRT. But just full acknowledge that, that those quests are done a lot for a reason. They just have too many items. But hey, we could say we went for limiter. So yeah, we'll do this for at least 22 more beats, which I think is probably two quests. Rianov to drop. Don't think I care about that. That Yaoi is so doomed. <laughs> I saw the demons. I'm like, wait a minute. That health bar went down too quickly. I wasn't the one shooting. Rangers cheating again. Pick up some grinders. Ooh, I think I can max my charge Vulcan finally. <laughs> Cause you know. Just just fair hunter things. Nice, it's a plus nine. I did it. Well my charge ray gun isn't maxed either. Oops. Yeah, I should probably increase that. That's my boss weapon. <laughs> Chat, oops. Oh, Hugh cast. <laughs> okay, well, at least I know where my next grinders are going. So, yeah, getting a little extra money so that way when I have to do some Jaya things, I'll at least have some cash on hand. I think he put away 500,000 in an hour and like five minutes, I think, doing box runs. So, I'm just gaining a little bit extra to do some Jayas. That's how I view it. So we have 8 mine material, 1 luck, 3 power, 2 of 8. That's not bad. So much mine material that I can't put away. What a shame. I have to find a character to hold it. Ooh, I must have with the Bomberman Land soundtrack. Um... Did you see the Mr. Roboto? Maybe. Should be Bomberman Land 2, right? Yeah, there we go. First cast with greater than zero MST, true. That's what happens when I go to eat them. Fall by this. So we'll go Dango a minute or two. Should have installed a bath, maybe. I finally have enough to survive falls, by the way, at 1402. My counts is all. Look at that, chat. I no longer potentially just randomly get one shot by falls. I did it. My reward is enjoying this for like 30 levels and then I get too much HP and die to another boss instantly again. That's besides the point. Dango needs to take a brief break. So yeah, 15 machine, 20 native. Whew, what a garrisol. Murphy hitting me with the indecipherable. I have no idea what he just said. Nani indeed. Get rid of these. <laughs> I was gonna say that that doesn't narrow it down for me. I don't recognize the characters. I think the thing is, I'm used to more of the simplified version of the the letters. There's like the the one where they combine more than one in a phrase. Yeah, I was I'm assuming it was the you're already dead. Okay, Murphy confirming. 
I recognize Nani. That was it. <laughs> it's like, I was like, everything else? No. Oops, skip dialogue. Let me move this. See what I want to bother with in PSO? That's fair. I was going to say, you could have it on the quick chat. <laughs> Just imagine chaining it all together. Poor lone Buddha. Every time. Like, we're just... Just... That's what they thought would stop us. Like, good job. So yeah, now I survive... Balls, which is useful for so... Useful for multiplayer and solo. Hopefully I get still get knocked down by Fireball, though. Or I'm gonna feel very sad. Oh my me, just face tanking. I saw he's low on health, and I'm like, I'll let Pew Pew Laser deal with it. We're good. Oh, that's just regular Buddha. I don't care about these enemies. I'll let Team deal with those. Joke's on you, Astark. I was already behind you. Can't get body blocked if I can kill the other guy before you line up with them. Take that satellite lizard slash yaoi. Oh, there's a power material back there? Where? Oh, it's like all the way back there. That's painful. Do want them. Those are semi worth going back for. Just eat the monomate because. See that bazooka. <laughs> the double Babuda gate guards. Nice try, Babuda. Wow, they really are just normal power powered. That's so sad. Just think, that's just from increasing my charge Vulcan to plus 9, which is what it should have been for a while. Shoot the trap. Absolutely wreck that enemy. Goodbye, Buddha. So good. Hoping if we at least don't get a limiter, one of us gets a smart link. It is kind of sad that we, we don't fight, like, many zoos. But there's enough that it's like, uh, Maybe it'll happen. I think it's like, I don't know, at least like, what, 30, 40 before we give up? Not the worst chances. You see the fleeing Rappies in the distance. Oops, I missed. those. Happy little freeze trap in the middle. Brutality. Yeah, this character has so much ATP that it's like, even if we're not playing Ranger, we should probably be fine in most of the runs. I'm not going to be doing like 80% of Dragon's health without anything other than his allure. Oh, we don't have to worry about it launching in the air, for example. And Worm Boss Jaya damage is stupid, so I should be good there. Chat will have to assist me slightly with a uh, full up. It is going to be something. Oh, nice photon drop. So we'll probably go for like another two hours. Still evolve as either of my characters, yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna twin blaze spam. Whatever, whatever characters you want to bring in for it. I'm thinking we'll do some TTF or something. TTF is good for XP, and then maybe we'll end with like an RT or something. I 
That way we could say we helped Dango again to try to get Dark Flow. One day, Dango will have that Dark Flow. If we get him Red Ring first, I think that's also okay. It's getting so close to the leveling. Should have Twin Blaze, that would have been faster. <clears throat> okay. I'll take the side path, team can take the laser gates. The PGA ain't, ain't dropping, oh no. Nope, you don't have to follow me, you can turn around. What happened to the music? Oh, less song, that makes more sense. New soundtrack. Fastest indeed. So technically, I did get an upgrade. I need to restart PSO after, no problem. Oh, your pickup box is gone. Interesting. Into the void it goes. I mean, fortunately, there shouldn't be any crazy common items, at least. If we were doing, like... I don't know, like, Ruins or Siva, that would have been Nightmare tier. So you, you would have to check everything. But it's just Surface. Surface shouldn't have anything interesting. So you could probably squeeze out one more of these and it'll still be even beat. Yeah, fluids. Oh yeah, if you don't if you're not using the mini map uh, map item update, yeah, you can't see those. I know my map items color codes them, so I don't even worry about that. But yeah, if other people don't use that, that's a problem. I like that they mostly line up, so I don't have to do anything to re-aim. Good feeling. Oh, I was like slightly not behind them. It sucks. There's no song names for these songs? That's unfortunate. I was curious what this one was called. Very unsettling. <laughs> Gear soul. There we go. I was gonna say, remote battery can almost survive a false swipe. I think you need like two more levels. You're getting there. So the more we stall here, the better. It does make TTF a lot easier. Because not surviving false swipes is a really bad feeling. You don't technically need to be able to survive it, but man, just oof, not doing any damage and the people gotta go revive. And this should put him out of set range of most things anyway. He can almost survive Dwarf on charge. <laughs> Close. It hasn't been relevant in this run for the most part. It's technically there. There we go. Yeah, I ended up renaming the guides uh, between streams to make sure that they say PSO guide on it with Affinia. That just kind of standardized them going forward. 
That way it's easier to tell what it's for in case people are looking at the full title. Or just open the tab and don't know what it's for. Oops. Got confused there briefly. I'm gonna do the box check. He will monitor the rappies. Well, I like the slicer usage there. I sadly did not bring one. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna rappy check with Girasol. I did it. <laughs> I did it, chat. That was commitment to the check. I should feel honored. <laughs> Pulled out the Girasol. The Gafoey. There we go. Dedication. So it should level very soon. I don't think this room, but pretty close to this room. I don't know why that's an auto response to the thing that you asked to which weapon. <laughs> like what like what does that mean? Oh well. Hmm. Bye, Rappies. I need to get Soka Bowie. There we go, I'm going in. Oh, that's true, I'm sorry, I said Girasol. I'd use Twin Blaze. I mean, I could have done it with uh, Girasol as well. Just, just to spite, hit the AoE. That would also would have worked. I call that being tired and hungry. I'm actually getting very hungry. So I might need to pause briefly when we're done with this. I need food, chat. Yeah, I think after we're done with these runs, when it goes to Odd B, I'll take like a five minute break, and then we'll just switch over to different quest types. That would be a natural breaking point in the video too. Hungry as a country. I'm hungry enough to potentially eat the country. I haven't had food today still. Where did the satellite lizards? Oh, he's facing me. Control. Got him that time though. One kill from leveling chat. That is so sad. 224. Till next level. Well, I might as well just throw out freeze traps, because why not? Nice level up. Ooh, an accuracy point. Nice. I'll take five more AT8, ATP too, I mean. Yeah, for context, it is 423 for me at the moment. We have been gaming since, I don't know, slightly before 10. It has been many hours. Let's get rid of these. Nicely done, team. <laughs> of course. <sighs> I'm so sad. Just imagine, chat. That could have been the photon crystal. I mean, if Remote Battery wants it, it's better than basic armor, but it's not, like, endgame worthy. Could have been Gabarda 30. At least people would pay for that. There's somebody out there that would pay 20 plus photon drops for it. Or at least benefit from it. Could have been hungry, true. Oops, just targeted.
Yeah, we could do a partial run with even B. Maybe... Now we'll also put him at 720-ish. Although I think he needs 740 to live swipes. I'll double check. I wrote it down. It's in the guide. I just don't have the numbers memorized. Might be 740 for multiplayer. Oops. Sloppy play. By Random Ass Star. No, 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 I'm not talking about Dwarf Uncharged. I'm talking about uh, False Swipes. I don't think 712 is enough. Is it? Is it 821 in multiplayer? Huh. That was lower for some reason. Get rid of those. Oh, well. Well, at least it is more likely to survive Fireball Blast. That's good. Goodbye, Zeus. Damn, kind of disappointing. So far, no... No crazy drops? Unless somebody got something crazy with Jaya hit percentage. And kind of a dry run with rares, even with the rare boost. Nobody's gotten a Photon Crystal yet from boxes or otherwise. Disappointing run. But maybe it'll turn around at some point. Target I was aiming for got destroyed. See, so we got seven beats left. Oh, I guess people are checking the other boxes over there or something. Keep seeing people go up. There we go. I'll wait a little bit. Regen some HP. Move on. Okay, so let's melee a little bit here. Dio with basically nothing. That, that was sad. It's got five in machine. That's it. That's its only stat. That is so bad. It might as well just be zeroed. Rip the stat line, chat. Let's freeze trap them a little bit. Some free straps down, deal with the zoo. Pull the Astar. Goodbye, Rappies. These power materials are dropping at least. That could be fun later. I mean, I'm just gonna freeze trap and shoot him. There we go. Poor Dorfon. Nick for the heal. Let's see. Fun. Seven hundred and twenty damage with the charge. Although I feel like it was seven eighteen though. Double check that. Wonder how they calculated it when they wrote in the other thing. I'm actually gonna compare real quick. Wonder if that's. I guess you need like plus one to survive, kind of thing. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and so then you need, yeah, so you need 721 to live. Yeah, that makes sense, okay. Just making sure I wrote that the same way and I didn't accidentally add math in there that wasn't needed. So yep, one level potentially away from sur surviving Dorfon for the first time. I'm just gonna preemptively grab items here since I gotta wait for the other game anyway. Let's bring in a Jaya. Let's see, what did I write in my guide currently for the set damage? Yeah, 696 for single player, 812 for multiplayer. See so yeah, how that looks right. Phase 3 orb does 700, but it could double hit, so you need to have 1401 to live. Fun! I could just give Ray Man an advice. So many items in my inventory, oh my gosh. Let me get rid of the charge gun here. I didn't even use that in the run, literally at all. Pointless item. You say that, Murphy? I have been double hit while moving so often. That it, that is, I am telling you, it is all about the angle. It's not even walk to the side. So if you're if you're walking but not running, you get hit. If you're slightly angled, you get double hit. It's so stupid. I hate that attack so much. I hate it so so much. It's so it's so dumb. Like if you're not if you're even slightly off with the angle and moving, you get double hit. It's so dumb. <laughs> I hate it, child. I hate it so much. I wish they did not design it to double hit like that actual tomfoolery there's so many times i'm literally going like perpendicular and i still get hit and i'm like or like well i guess it's relative to, i guess it's more parallel parallel to the boss perpendicular to the attack and i still get hit by it it's so stupid it's like, <laughs> the bounces yeah it's just like I don't know how much character I also has to deal with it too, because I feel like there's some characters I just get wombo comboed instantly and die. Raw cast in particular, I feel like I get double hit all the time with that attack and it's so bad. I mean, fortunately he has enough HP that it doesn't matter. But it's like, geez, on some of those moves. I think my favorite is when I let it bounce and it bounces like three times and then it still double hits me. That's the one that gets me. That one tilts me off the face of the planet and that has happened. I don't know if that's happened on stream lately, but that happens a lot to me in solo TTF. That drives me wild or like two player TTF. I'm like this is like actual nonsense. Like I'll be on literally like the last hit to dodge it and I'll be like straightening out in order to uh, potentially get through the grants as well. And it's like, nope. So bad. It's like that in the brands. Brand, brands will just, falls will do whatever damage it wants. Brands does whatever damage it wants. Those missiles come out, I'm like, it's over. That's all I know. <laughs> like, just GG, GG. <laughs> no freeze trap, it's over. I'll take that skip doll for later. So yeah, we got like two beats left on even beat. Better than nothing. I will eat a trimate there. The zoo's still alive. I thought the team killed it. I was gonna say, most of the time I can't hit it. There we go. I think I got surprised that one time. I'm not going back for that power material. 
the one time I, I was I managed to shoot it through the rocks. <laughs> it was like two runs ago, I think. I think thing I think playing the Hue cast in particular, I've learned how little I need to move when I put a free strap down. To the point where I could just he really hit me on the front the insta shoot. Wow, that was so unlucky timing. That was really unlucky timing. I, I was literally gonna demonstrate I didn't need to move to hit the freeze trap there. The freeze trap came out, but my gunshot did not. Hmm. Unfortunate. That Stark Reach is silly. But anyway, unless I'm like really baiting them for confuse trap, I usually stay pretty close to my traps. Especially if I want to melee punish. Destroy that. Oh, the other thing it doesn't really handle well, inclines. I need to make sure to not do that on inclines. It behaves very weirdly most of the time. I hit again by the Astark. So unfair. One day I'll get to show this off without just getting tagged randomly. Yeah, can't do it on slopes though. Get rid of these. Build the dwarf on that spawns over here. I love that random trap over there. Like, it's just... This is so rude. It's like right there. Like you want to line up with the bridge and it's like, no, you will suffer. Okay. I just like when he turns with the guns. It makes me a little sad because if he, if he manages to not turn and hit the trap, then it's perfect. I'm lined up to get the full combo. So usually I just take like a couple steps back and shoot at the trap because I get so tired of being turned sideways. So I feel like that wastes more time for me. Or if I just turn around, I'm in the perfect angle now. It's much easier to do when you have a ray gun versus Vulcan. Look at those. Still got seven freeze traps. That's not too bad. Yeah, those levels make a big difference. Oh, leveled up to 95, but still dies the dwarf on set damage. One more level. Then you'll be free. Need to put away this gear assault at some point that reminds me. Oh, it was already dead. Oh, I was wondering what happened there. It got frozen, but I guess it was untargetable to me, but it didn't break out of freeze when it died. That was interesting. I see that every once in a while. So last attempt at limiters, and then we'll move into a combination of TTF and RT. I'm willing to play a little longer, but I do have things I want to do later today. So I'm probably going to have a hard cutoff in, let's say, three hours-ish. Jaya, I did it. <laughs> the 
disrespectful, Jaya. There we go. Nice and easy cleanup. Make sure chat checks the boxes. Nice. No drops, though. That's sad. My head shook on that targeting. How did it lose? How did it lose target mid combo? That's awkward. That shouldn't happen. Yes, so please. <laughs> Slash Vulcan auto aim, please. One of the above. Nice. I definitely want to get my free straps back as I'm out. Perfect. Saves me a heal. So yeah, this character is like part of the way to leveling, which is kind of nice. For our force friends. Okay, can only see them on the minimap. Good enough. Come on, limiter. Final run for limiter, and then I'm not touching it again until basically anniversary event. Which is usually what I go for. It. Nice level up. 728. Hey, you survived Orphan now. A couple of the boxes. Nice chat's gonna check the other side for boxes. Thank you, chat. Oh, I love chain lighting in that area. Just the brr boom. <laughs> I love that. It looks so cool. I still don't know why there's nursery songs in here. You feeling okay there, Bomber Man? Your soundtracks were really solid, and then this one started playing. Barter bowling. Oh, barter bowling's fun. Yeah, especially if they're in a super straight line. Sick. Poor lizard was in a Girasol sandwich. It's like we're wielding two giant buns and just slammed him in between. GG. Hey, there we go. Finally. I I was just saying, I'm like, I really hope someone at least gets a smart link. Like, limiter is whatever. Like, yeah, run's worth now. Exactly. That item is so good. So definitely try to play it with people if you don't have a smart link. Blue ID is your savior. Paralyzed. GG Dorfon. I can't see what the blizzard is to melee it. Oh, Body blocked. Couldn't tell. So sad. <laughs> the Dorfon's body blocked all visuals of the satellite lizard. I didn't notice he was already in his attack animation. I was gonna say, please stop meleeing me. I really don't want to buy more healing items later. Yeah, I got one star atomizer for safety. Eight trimates should help me if things go wrong. I mostly just need two trimates for the run, maybe three. Nicely done.
Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. All I'm thinking though is food, 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 food. <laughs> oh, like, I got something prepared at least. Photon draw. No photon crystals for anybody yet. That's kind of crazy. With drop rate up at rare rate and bot and this many boxes, very disappointing. In like an hour or something of runs. Going on an hour and a half, I think. Take that PD though. You know what's sad? I think I actually legitimately have gotten more PDs per hour than uh, the, these quests so far. <laughs> Even though we're killing so many more enemies, TTF just too strong. Like aver average amount of PDs per TTF uh, in an hour or two. So there's a lot of box checks, funny enough. Box checks love to get those. Mine material, uh, I'll pick it up for now, but I need to figure out what to do with the spares later. Oops. There we go. Make them all melee each other for a little bit because it's amusing. Walk up, freeze trap, walk away. Nicely done. Oh no, <laughs> the wall of traps. That right there, I think that might that might require a trap vision or something to deal with. That seems really hard to not trigger or to other traps. It's just so easy to just end up getting near it. And because there's two of them, they cover a really big area. Very rude trap. Should pick up some items to sell at some point. Oh, there we go. It's just a very delayed laser gate. I was wondering what was happening for a second. Uh, I'll drop this actually, I don't need it. New girls found S parts version 2.01. There we go. Nice. Nice Photon Crystal. Now the runs are officially worth it. Yeah, that, that one extra run after, you know, even though Eevee Beat is over, finally paid off. So pick up a couple items to sell back in town. Even beat his cursed. Apparently. And I'll look at the wiki to see what this does. Uh, it does two major things. One is you have any main weapons. You do a series of quests in order to convert those into hit percentage on them. So things like Bringer's Rifle. Uh, S, well, well, you could do S red arm, but not that one. The S beats arm, I think is the correct one, with the hell is good. Grass Assassin's okay with it. Baran's launcher, probably the other big one. 
Otherwise, it's used as currency to activate a quest called Black Paper's Dangerous Deals 1 and 2. And those quests lead to some very stupid items, and is why if you manage to get them early while power leveling, uh, you end up with just like really silly items like Last Swan on normal mode, etc. Like, literal game-changing weapons are just available in those quests. Dangerous deal with... What? Here are these. Most known as Black... Yes. But the, it, it's Black Paper's Dangerous Deal. I'm pretty sure it's the official quest. It's not referred to it as that in the wiki, which is confusing. So, like, if you look up uh, Black Paper Deals in Affinio, which is fine, just be aware that that's not what the quest is called. The word dangerous is 100% in that title. So I looked it up the other day. Clear these. Kill those. Yeah, in theory, you could, uh... They, they do give a lot of XP, technically, because there are forced rare enemies in at least two. People will run two in order to get things like Last Swan or Master Raven in particular. Yeah, we go through that in the Pupper Guide fully. It has all the drops from normal to very hard. Most people never run it on ultimate because there's no point to doing so. Like, you can, but it's usually just a worse item pool. I think the only time it's kind of relevant is when you're doing, uh... The first quest. One moment. Yeah, it's just kind of like one of those ones. So yeah, Black Paper is Dangerous Deal. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Like, in theory, it could grant you stuff early, but most of the, the, most of the reason you don't end up getting it is just from the fact that, like, if you can do ultimate, then why don't you just do ultimate hunts to get those weapons with hit percentage and stats? Because most of them do really heavily benefit from it. I mean, arguably, you could get Frozen Shooter from there early, but it's like... Why wouldn't you just do Forest Ultimate at that point? I, I think if you're able to do very hard mode Dangerous Deals, just do Ultimate Forest, do you know what I mean? Or if you're able to do Ultimate Underground for the runs, why don't you just do Underground Surface instead with other quests? Yeah, it's just one of those things. It makes sense. Oh, oops. I put them in the wrong bank. I was wondering why it let me put the mine material in there, and I'm like, wait a minute. So many materials. Tapped on those. Right, do a quick material check. What are we at? 99 PDs. So I'm capped there again. Grinder's looking pretty good. HP material almost capped. Yeah, we'll, have to, <laughs> we'll have to figure out what character will just hold these permanently. And or I'll trade them off to people. I saw that it was a 50 hit ray gun, and then I saw it was literally only a ray gun. Darn, that would have been so good. Can you imagine, chat? Just, oh, just casual 50 hit charge with a little bit of machine. Oh well. So yeah, we're gonna take a small break here. So we're now done with the portion where we go through RBR. And I think we did, you know, at least eight total between previous session cut point and this point. So we, we did some RBR. But I think chat, I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break. I'm gonna get something quick to eat. And when we come back, we're gonna be doing some TTF. 
So I'm going to be hosting as this character. I'm going to quit out for now, because it'll probably idle me anyway. So, be right back, chat. But let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. And hope to see you, I guess, in the last part.